Okay, today is July the 30th, 2017, and right now at about 12.10 a.m., we have a temperature in the foothills of uh, 66 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 82%, and the weather has changed in the last three to four hours. We've got uh, like a very deep marine layer that's moved in. Uh, the dew point is 60 degrees, and the uh, barometer is reading 29.96 inches. All right, so we're looking at the uh, southwest water vapor map. And again, we notice that right along this Colorado River that separates Arizona from Ca uh, California, we see that really nothing is getting into California. Despite all this monsoonal moisture, we, we have a lot of rain in uh, Arizona and Mexico, but nothing here in California. Let's take a quick look at the uh, Doppler map. And we see very little rain right up here uh, near the uh, Las Vegas, or rather the uh, Nevada border. A tiny amount of rain here, but most of that rain is up here uh, near Flagstaff. We can see a straight edge where a uh, NEXRAD transmitter is working to chop up that uh, precipitation. Okay, let's take a look here. We have the, uh, again, the water vapor map. And uh, nothing getting into California. There's almost a uh, blockade, high-pressure blockade, right through here in this entire area of southern and central California, which is blocking uh, that moisture from getting in. And here is the uh, infrared map. We see the depth of that water vapor. Uh, really nothing at all getting into uh, California. Taking a quick look here at the, uh, the uh, where are we here? Okay, this is the SSEC water vapor map. We can see a pretty good shot of the west coast. We have Hillary down here, which is still generating 60 mile per hour winds, a steady 60 mile per hour winds from Hillary. We also have uh, a lot of thunderstorm development. We can see that here. This is all seeming to move north but again uh, nothing's getting into california we have like we have a uh, area of high pressure right here which is uh, blockading a lot of uh, water vapor moving in this is the water vapor map we can see that uh, channel that blockade right here nothing getting into uh california right up here we see the same pattern nothing getting into california that is just uncanny Amazing. Uh, no other words for it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, quick look at the National Hurricane Center map. We have Hillary with uh, 60 mile per hour winds moving 14 miles per hour to the northwest. Minimum uh, central pressure 999 millibar, 999. We've got Irwin uh, with 50 mile per hour winds uh, moving north at 8 miles per hour. Now, Hillary is still generating 20-foot seas. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, this is the uh, swell report for the eastern Pacific. And we can see that uh, Hillary, which is located right here, generating 20-foot seas. So, uh, and Hillary is moving to the uh, northwest. And so we're going to see some fairly high surf here in the next uh, couple of days on these uh, south-facing beaches in Southern California. All right, uh, let's go to the big map now. Uh, here is the western U.S. water vapor loop. And once again, you get a pretty good view of what's going on here in California. There's this no rain. Uh, this is amazing stuff. I'd like to hear the uh, meteorologists and the climatologists explain this. We've been watching this now for several days, this pattern. Right here at the Colorado River, which is the border between Arizona and California, and right up here, this Nevada border. Nothing getting into California. How can that be? We've got the uh, fake news media telling us this is CO2 and greenhouse gas which is uh, causing this climate change. But this is not, this, none of this is being generated 
are created by uh, carbon dioxide or greenhouse gra uh, gas. This is just overt weather manipulation by transmitters and uh, ground transmitters. If we take a look again at the uh, Doppler map and zoom in here at Flagstaff, see a fairly straight edge there. You think that's uh, caused by carbon dioxide? Really? I don't think so. I disagree. I think anybody out there with an IQ over 80 would agree that uh, this sort of manipulation is, uh, has nothing to do with carbon dioxide. All right, uh, so here's the IR map for the West Coast. You see Hillary right here being blown apart. Let's take a look uh, at Hillary right now. Uh, right here, this is the floaters, goes floaters rainbow uh, map. And this storm is being targeted. We can see in this uh, seven and one half hour loop the diminishment that takes place. It's being targeted here on the west side of that storm. Everything is spinning counterclockwise. And it's hit here. And of course, there's just very little rotation left. If you look at the uh, divisible light map, we get some fairly good detail in the beginning, but it's uh, photoshopped over. We just scroll through it frame by frame. You can see right here there's a hole where that transmitter hit. And as we advance through the frames, this hole then generates that huge evaporation pattern that wipes out the uh, the depth of that water vapor. Let's go ahead and run this and we'll go back to the rainbow map. Right here towards the end we see the uh, hit that again right there. It cuts into the, the water vapor. Right here. So Hillary will be a tropical uh, storm or tropical depression probably by tomorrow. They're beating up uh, Irwin and Hillary. All right. Next, we have the uh, the larger map, the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We see a low pressure system diving down out of the uh, Aleutian Islands. This is probably a gale force system. I haven't looked at this surface analysis map, but we can see here we got another low pressure system right there spinning. And we had something here trying to spin right there. That has a transmitter on it, that dark area. This was attempting to spin counterclockwise. And of course, this is heading right towards California. So they had to put some heat on that immediately. And that's what's happened. Also, we've got high pressure firming up right in this area between uh, Hillary and uh, Southern California and, and Baja, Mexico. We can see that firming up right here. This uh, high pressure has been installed. And we can see the evaporation pattern right there. This is all being blockaded by high pressure up here. This is all being re-steered into Canada. We've got two lows right side by side. And look what's going on over here these two lows and we've got another low right here spinning so we've got three lows spinning this has got a transmitter generating some heat right through here to prevent the merging of these two and meanwhile we've got a partial jet stream flow walling up right here this is a look at this right angle right here that's just firmed up right there right there and that is blockading this jet stream flow. Look at that. Everything is mushrooming right there where the pen is. You see, people would figure out real fast if they put these maps on, up on uh, fake news television. People would very quickly figure out that uh, things, that something's wrong. And we're not getting the truth. And so that's why we have cartoon weather. <clears throat> on the local and national media and on the Weather Channel and all the rest of it. 
it's all designed to conceal what is really happening and uh, what we're seeing here is is pretty good evidence of weather manipulation especially here right here at the border no rain is being allowed in we've got wall street uh hedge funds trading weather derivatives we've got the fake news media covering up the uh, real cause of weather manipulation so this is um this is a big big problem okay so uh, that's pretty much the report for tonight we'll go ahead and leave it right here and uh, try to get another one done tomorrow okay that's it